Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today we're going to be talking about the BioBox guys. Yep, Fire Song and Sunspeaker. We all got super excited about this guy, and I believe at some point, I really thought right now as I'm filming this, we are pretty deep in the spoilers for Commander 18. I'm really thinking... I was thinking when this card got printed and the only way you could get it was to buy a box of Dominaria that they would reprint it soon, like in the Commander set. However, I think this is one of those cards that when they do reprint it, it's going to tilt the world because I think non-foils will actually be more expensive than foils. Simply because, yeah. Anyway. Fire Song of Sunspeaker is the a different kind of Boros General. It's a 4-6 which is two Hurling Minotaurs stapled together and your red instant sorceries have lifelink so therefore we're going to play a lot of instants and sorceries here. As a matter of fact I think we only got like five or six dudes. And white now you're only going to gain three life or I'm sorry you're only going to deal three damage when you play that white instant sorcery that caused you to gain life. So, it's not like the other one where the lifelink. So first, he is six mana, so let's go through some of our ramp to try to get this guy out. Because let's face it, we really don't want to cast any of our instance or sorceries until he's out. Or they are out. So, a lot of typical just ramp and or fixing fire... Uh, the Fire and Sun did merit it's one of my few soul rings I have left. Because um, a lot of these I've... Now, what's weird is that Signet and that Clue Stone, look how close those things are together. I right, get over. The art is really close. Stone. And then here's my creatures. Now, I am running Evra because, you know, we're going to be gaining some life. And this one could do some damage. Gutter Snipe. We are casting instants and sorceries. So each opponent. That's not bad. Fill our Sovereign. Like I said, we're gaining life. And we're gaining double life off the Rock's Faith Mender. And our... The Queen. Gisela. <sighs> Eh, she's so good. I don't have to sell y'all on her. She's amazing. So I've got these separated into instance and sorcery since that's what matters. Uh, let's go, I don't know, let's randomly pick instance first. Now, this is just a hodgepodge of all the instance. Invoke the Divine. It is, in fact, a disenchant, but it's a disenchant with you gain four life. So, you're going to deal the three damage. Of course, I am playing just straight disenchant as well. There's no synergy here. It's just a good card and I needed some more removal. I'm a firm believer in removal of permanents, enchantments, artifacts, creatures. Y'all know that. Speaking of immortality, because uh, why not, you know? We might need to trigger that Felidar. Lightning Helix is the card. It is the first card that we all thought of when we saw the Minotaurs. Because this thing is ridiculous. Now, uh, okay. This, call, this deals damage and gains life. So, for two mana, you're going to deal three which is going to cause you to gain three. And then you're going to gain three, which causes you to deal three. So is this six and six? I had heard that this was like nine and six, or six and nine. So I don't know. Anyway, it's Lightning Helix is good by itself. It is incredible in this deck. This is the card you want. And of course, the super-powered version, War Leader's Helix. I am going to be running stuff like the Lightning Bolt, Lightning Strike, Incinerate. These are 
these are all good cards, but when you tack on gain three life on them, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, Ritual of Rejuvenation. Gain four life. Deal three damage. Draw a card for three mana instant speed. This sounds like something I want to be a part of. Now, we got Healing Grace, which is a strictly better card than Healing South. But I am running both of them because, you know, why not? Healing Salve, this may be the only deck I've ever put Healing Salve in, because it is just so narrow. Char is an interesting one. It It's going to deal 4 damage to target creature and 2 damage to you, so that is a total of 6 damages dealt. And so, you're going to deal 4 damage to something, take 2, gain 6 life, so you're going to deal 4 and gain 4. Pretty neat. Magma Jet, because Scrying is awesome. Riot Control. Gain one life for each creature your opponent's control. And you fog. This is not bad. You know, especially when you staple on a bolt on it. Reverse Damage. It's an old card, yes, but there are times... There are times this has saved me. Mm, man, it has. Of course, there's the Shock... Urza's Rage. Now, Urza's Rage, it's so hard for me to cast this card for three mana. It really, really is. Because for ten, ten damage. Now, granted, what are we at? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. But twelve mana for ten damage and ten life don't seem bad. It don't seem bad at all. Of course, we are running the path for those things that are, you know, immune to that old damage. Searing Wind's just a good, you know, Searing Wind's one of those instants nobody sees coming. Beacon of Destruction, and we're getting fuzzy. Let's see if we can fix this. Deals five damage, you gain five life, and it shuffles back in, so that's pretty neat. Now, Magma Quake, this is one that is amazing. This is an instant. X damage to each creature without flying in each Planeswalker. So this is kind of our board wipe that we gain a massive amount of life on. Now, there's one card for this deck I did want, but I don't own a copy of at all. Star of Extinction in this deck is bonkers. Chandra's Outrage... Seems pretty good, too. Four damage to a creature, two damage to a controller, and six life for four mana. I'm on board. Impact Resonance. Greatest amount of damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Radiate Lightning. Here again, this could we could gain a ton of life here. So let's look at our sorceries. Of course, we're going to start off with a good old-fashioned chain lightning because it looks like they're going to reprint it every time they get a chance now. As long as they keep it out of standard, they're cool. In, in, in their minds. Collective Defiance. I mean, I'll escalate this. Banefire. Glad to see Banefire back in M19. Because nothing sucks worse than tapping out for your X spell and having it in Mana Leak or whatever, but I, I'm the guy that runs Mana Leak just because of that, because people want value, and they don't think about Mana Leak or the counter unless you pay one more. Detonate is going to get rid of that artifact and, you know, deal some damage, which is going to gain you life. Into the Maw of Hell. Uh, for when you just absolutely positively got to kill a creature and gain 13 life. Fiery Confluence. Now, one damage to each creature could add up some life. Two damage to each opponent. Um, what are you gaining? Eight? Six, eight, ten life? I don't know. In our games, we pretty big. Cleansing Nova. Beautiful card. I run it just because some creatures just can't take damage. And destroying them all is 
and besides we ain't got a whole lot of creatures now chain reaction is where the money's at and by money I mean life this is just beautiful X damage to each creature X number of creatures so it's the number of creatures squared is how much life you gain Wow blasphemous act another board wipe that's going to gain you now all the life gain is cool and all but you can still lose commander damage you can still deck yourself so there's many ways to lose at you know hundreds and hundreds of life trust me I have done it flame wave I love that little dude surfing there's a dude right there surfing he is amazing surfing the wave bright flame um this is nuts because it deals the damage and gains you the life there again it's one of those just I'm, I'm not going to try to do the math because it's an X and it depends on the board position but it seems hard to lose when you resolve this card it just it just does of course we have tormenting voice draw a few cards good old-fashioned pyroclasm I mean pyroclasm gaining you a ton of life for that two mana now granted fireball fireball is of course bounceable it, it is one of the most reworded cards that have ever been printed uh, X damage Y targets plus one anyway fireball nine times out of ten we're fireballing somebody or something for all the marbles so we're not worried really about bouncing it I've been playing for 24 years and I can't I've probably bounced a fireball less than five times breath of dire guys eh not bad kind of makes you want to kick it Shiv and Meteor and it's got Suspend Meteor Blast 4 damage to each of X targets wow I wonder if they're going to I wonder if this is Eradicate Walkers probably not I don't know they changed a bunch of cards Earthquake it's another good card that for the first time ever can't kill you. I mean, I have earthquaked, and you look at it in your hand, and you are just you're weighing the how much creatures they've got, and they're gonna kill you. But then you're so low on life because they do have all these creatures, and you just but that math that does not even enter into the equation because earthquake, yeah, it's gonna deal damage to you, but you're gonna gain the, a good jillion times that much life. Earthquake is actually a game-winning spell. I love it. Fight with fire. I love that Chandra phrase. Of course you should fight fire with fire. You should fight everything with fire. Five or ten. And of course the Screech for damage. Now, a lot of cards uh, a lot of cards could do with, I think maybe, th th that's the last of them besides lands. I haven't played this yet, obviously, but I'm thinking that I may need a little more stuff to do with the life. But, I mean, we are in white and red. It's not like we're in black and we can pay the life to draw. But it seems like this is almost there. I mainly use Cleansing Screech because it was from the Global Series. I'm trying to use as many of those cards as possible. Even though Tapped Out is saying none of those cards are legal in EDH. However... It's whatever. They're vintage legal, so they're commander legal. Anyway, it takes them a while to get caught up. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all let me know what you think. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.